Wait, hold on. Head to old Isra. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh good, you stopped. No time for details. People eager to see me dead will come over that hill at any moment. So, want to earn some easy gold? What do I need to do to earn some easy gold then? Kelhulan, the tower at Ald Isra's east end. Inside, there's a green mushroom. By that mushroom, there's a dark elf. She'll probably insult you. She's my contact. Deliver this letter, then walk away with a pocket full of gold. What's so important about this letter that people want to kill you? Better you don't know, but fine. There's a spy among the Assembly of Masters. My contact's here to end the threat. Look, can you take this letter to her? Don't open it, don't look at it, don't talk about it. Hand it over and you're done. Deal? All right, well, I'll go hand this old letter over to the contact and now this history. Remember, a dark elf by a green mushroom in Telhulan. Tell her, both light and shadow can be deadly. She'll reply, though only one chases the other. Then hand over the letter, and she'll give you gold. Now, go while I lead my pursuers away. Who's chasing you? The people working for the spy. That's my assumption, at least. When a dagger flew past my head, I took off. Look, you don't want to know any more about this. You don't need details to deliver a letter, and the more you know, the greater the danger. Can you tell me anything about all this, Ray? It's just another Telvani town. Its claim to fame is that the Assembly of Masters congregates there. Look, I'm from the other side of Morrowind. I just had orders to meet my contact here and deliver that letter. Want to know more? Ask a local. Hmm. What should I know about the Assembly of Masters? We don't have time for this. Look, the name is misleading. Telvani Masters never assemble. Instead, they send their assistants, the Mouths, to represent them. So it's really the Assembly of Mouths. But no one wants to call it that. Can I go now? Don't get killed. Get to Telhulan. I'll draw off my pursuers. And off she goes. the road fate needs you proxy Any delay is unacceptable. We hired the Morag Tong to deal with this problem. Bellow all you want. It won't change my process. Outrageous! How dare you- Master Phobes, a word if I may. Why have any closer to determining the true identity of the target and the writ? Uh, Trudesim. I have uh, discovered the House Drez has established a camp to the south of Al Istre. I have no doubt the traitor you seek is among the League of the House Drez agents. Just you look in their activity, but be careful. They may have noticed most of my interest. Yep, we read it. Well, look what the Nixox dragged in. What are you doing here, hero? Are you following me again? Seriously, what brings you to this house of arrogance and whining? Both light and shadow can be deadly. Though only one chases the other. All right, it's obvious Fulci sent you, and she gave you the code of a courier. That tells me you have something for me. Go on, then. Hand it over. Fulci uh, gave me this letter. She said you pay well, and just as you're being followed and led, led them away. Fulci can fend for herself. Right now, I need to see if she learned anything to point me to the true identity of my target. To Desim, the name on the writ is an alias. Interesting. According to Fosi, House Drez established a camp to the south. That's important? Fosi seems to think so. Since you want to get paid, how about you help me out? I need to assassinate a spy and tell Hulan. But to do that, I need to figure out who actually deserves my blade. 
It's quite legal. I have a Morag Tong writ of execution. And what's the word of execution again? A binding document that gives me the authority to eliminate the name on the writ. We figure out who Tridesim actually is, I finish the job, you get paid, and we go home. Not together, necessarily. Depends on my mood. So, what do you say? Hmm, sure. Help you find, uh, figure out who Tridesim is. Congratulations, you're my new Fosi. First, go to the servants' quarters to the west and ask Akigo about the spy. Then visit the Dres camp to the south and see if they have any connection to this Tredesim. I need to keep watch here, just in case. Hmm. How have you been, Nero? Ah, oh, hero. If we had a bottle of wine and all the time in the world, the stories I could tell you. But I really want to complete this writ and then wash the stink of the Talvani out of my hair. Can we catch up later, please? You want to talk about Vea? Now is not the time, hero. Distractions can lead to a blade in your back, or worse, to one in mine. Concentrate on the mission. Let me do my job, then we can talk. Anything else that can help me determine Tridecarium's ter true identity? You mean other than the fact that I have a writ for someone named Tridesim who apparently doesn't exist? That House Drez has a nearby camp? Or that I want you to question a servant named Akigo? Which of those would you like me to spell out for you? Where'd you get the name Tridicum? It was part of the writ, provided by whichever scribe the masters had contact the Morag Tong. But since no one here knows anyone with that name, it must be an alias. Believe me, when I figure out who took out the writ, I plan to ask them about that. Why is House Drez camp so important? Because Fosi thought me knowing about it was important enough to involve you. House Drez controls the land far to the south, near the Black Marsh border. Them setting up a camp near here could be coincidence, but it's worth checking out. Why do you want me to go talk to Akigo in particular? Akigo is a contact I cultivated the last time business brought me out this way. For a minor servant, he excels at avoiding notice and absorbing everything that happens in town. He'll only help if it's safe. He knows what the Talvani do to traitors. Well, I've asked enough questions for now. Are you sure? Don't want to ask about my favorite beverage, how it looks so good without any effort, yep. or which scrib I favor in tonight's race? Yes. Cut. Then let's get to work, hero. We have a spy to identify. But why is it more in Tong so interested in Aldistre? It's not, and I couldn't care less about the Telvani. House full of arrogant arses. I'd put each of them to the blade if I had the writs for it. This is strictly business. The assembly took out a writ. I'm here to enforce it. Why does the assembly think they have a spy? Information discussed during the meetings of the Assembly of Masters has gotten out. One of the mouths accused this Tridesim, and the Masters applied for the writ. Unfortunately, no one here is named Tridesim. Means we actually need to do some work. Hmm. What do you know about the people in this room? Foes is a typical Tavani master, full of himself and twice as annoying. Sulis is reasonable, but he's hiding something. Then there's the servant, Zemzo. I expected to deal mostly with servants and mouths. Surprised to find this many masters here. What's the difference between mouth and master? Not much, in my opinion. They're all just interested in gaining power, stabbing each other in the back, and earning higher ranks in the house. Mouths serve their masters, representing them so the masters don't have to leave their towers. Uh, anyone else I should know about? Just that lickspittle Alem Kito. He's Foves' aid. Made a good show of subservience, didn't he? Like all Talvani's servants, I assume he's quietly vying for power in some way. The sooner we're done and I can leave, the better I'll feel. Yeah. No, Sulis. I'm out of patience. We need this finished now! Master Foves, calm yourself. This solves nothing. Come, Gito. Leave the hireling to her work. Yes, Master Foves. Well, unlike Foves, I am at your service should you require anything. Hmm. The easiest part of my day comes while Master Foves enjoys his first meal. He insists that I leave him alone while he eats his quama eggs. 
That's when I enjoy a nice book. Mm -hmm. Did I hear correctly? Did Nayu hire you to help her complete her writ? Well, just be aware. That's not coming out of the assembly treasury. Any arrangement such as that is between you and the Morag Tong. Hmm. I couldn't help over here. I think it's excellent that Nayu selected you to assist her in this matter. More hands means we can get back to the usual business of the assembly that much faster. And by usual business, I mean I can return to my tower. It's like an entire culture of neats. They, they all just want to stay, in, stay inside. Zemzo feels grateful to have a position among the Telvani. Father once said that this one would die poor on the side of the road. But now look at Zemzo. Soon to be a hireling. And then a mouth. Reject back. Surprise. Not to fall off. I swear, I saw a Moro Tongue agent come through here. So boring. I have nothing to say to you, friend of the Dark Lady. I could go. Word travels fast in old Isra, outsider. I heard you work with the Dark Lady. Last time she came through, I had to clean up three bodies. Three. If she sent you to ask for my help again, the answer is politely no. I do not want her to be angry with me. She wants to know if you've heard about a spy in the Tal Harun. Just information? No risk to scale or tail? Very well. I don't know about a spy, but a servant leaves the quarters late every Sundas and Midas night, then returns early the next morning. No idea who, but there's always a strange smell the next day. Hmm. Hey, look at the servant's quarters. What? No. It's locked for a reason. We servants don't have that much. I won't let a stranger in to go through our meager belongings. Nope, this key stays right here with me. I'll find another way in. Oh, I didn't expect you to be reasonable. That's refreshing. I can't give you the key to our quarters. My masters beat me enough as it is. But I happen to know that Garnts leaves his key on a table in the courtyard when he's working. Now, go away. Oh, good to know. Oh, it's not even, lo it's not even trespassing. Mushroom box. Take jewelry. Take jewelry that the server uh, that servants will use on a few days off. Here are scraps. Scraps of paper the servants of Adder Spirit use to communicate with each other without the Avani masters noticing. No notes. Jar of Guguri Musk. A jar found among the servant's belongings. It contains a powerful smelling scent. Did you see that woman outside? If looks could kill, she wouldn't need those knives. Shh. She asked about her assistant. Just keep your head down. Was that you rummaging around upstairs? If you're a new servant, then I hope you learn to respect other people's belongings. Also, and I'll try to say this gently, your smell is quite pungent. Are you gossip recently? Well, last week, the head steward assigned me to Master Sulis's quarters. He's friendly in public, but exceedingly mean behind closed doors. I heard him talking with Masters Foves and Filsi about a secret project, but I didn't get any details. Ever heard about servants leaving late at night? I have, and I wish they'd do it quietly. I won't tell the head steward, but they could repay my discretion by not disturbing my sleep. And no, I don't know who it is. 
Staying ignorant means I don't need to lie when someone asks. Uh, what about that strange smell? Yes, and it's right in front of me. Have you been wrestling in the swine pond? Probably with the servant that sneaks out late at night, I imagine. Please take that smell and leave. We've been trying to air out this place for weeks. Gaia? Hmm. Sorry, no time for the likes of you. The masters and mouths are very strict that we talk to no one. You don't even want to know what they did to me when they heard I accidentally told an elf from House Dress where the well was. <laughs> hey, hero. Find anything pertinent to my writ? Yes, I did, actually. Notice how the servants around here love me. They know I'm here for bigger scribs than them. Well, come to think of it, I have had a writ or two for servants over the years. Three, actually. Anyway, find anything useful in there? Three, actually. <laughs> yeah, clean up three bodies, too. Well, I found this jar for in the servants' quarters. You brought me a jar? Ugh. It reeks like Asha's undergarments. Why in the world would a servant need a jar of Kaguti musk? I can't think of a single useful purpose other than to stink up the place. Did Akigo have any useful information? It said that servants leave every Sunday to Midas, and the quarters smell awful the next day. Well, I'd say you'd found the source of the spell. But why go out on specific nights just to return with a jar of stink? Could it be some sort of weird romantic rendezvous that's no courting ritual that i'm familiar with anything else mm, matricillus of uh, philippus and philippus are working on a secret project now that's interesting certainly worthy of the efforts of a spy depending on the nature of the project let's you and i keep this to ourselves for now see what else we can learn about this secret project well i'm gonna go search this dress element Are we going to race? Ba, 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 Camp update. We have an unusual number of rule breakers and layabouts to the camp of this size. Halver sneaks his food uh, to the slaves after dinner. Gatter sleeps during the guard shifts. Brano smuggles contraband through some hired laborers. Inform any judgments or punishments that can indeed be appropriate. I'll we'll see them carried out. Operation Siphon. Councilor Radis, our operation of Alder Surf it continues undiscovered. The surf the information we established within the Assembly of Masters provides regular updates and passes along the private documents. Their value cannot be un un under understated. This gold is well spent. We requested the details of our process for securely exchanging information. Late every Sunday submit this evening, uh, Trichidem uh, hides a new cache of information among the Northwest nests of the, of the local Kaguri. Then we collect the missives from our nests each Mondus and third, Mortis and Thirdus morning. One would think that the direct aid of the Valley Master would choose a less odorous place to conduct business, but I can't disagree with the results. We remain, I remain grateful that uh, Turkadon has been so willing to provide this, this information. Whether from arrogance or greed, their loose lips have been a wellspring. The... Seasons of effort required to acquire the aid of the stature have paid off. The current fa phase of the operation should conclude soon, but we must maintain the flow of secrets for future use. In the surface of the Great House, Talon Dress. Letter concerning Tekadem. Noble Savali, I humbly... Uh, I humbly ask that your understanding we're sending this letter for request directly to you instead of through their chain of command. We have requested that some urgency 
that we do not have time to flow through the typical administrative channels. As you're aware, I'm engaged in a long-term operation in the extraction of information from the leadership of House Talvani. Our agents inside, referred to him as Sakajem, passes along the note during the recent information drop. I don't know how, but the Masters learned of, that they have a spy in their ranks. One of them, uh, suspected of Master Silvius, I suspect Master Sil Silvius, enacted a writ of execution for the Morlog Tong. I knew this work came uh, with a risk, but I believe I'd stay, protect stay protected. Now, there's a good chance I wind up the knife in my gut. Since the risk has grown, I want to take some urgent ste steps. I'd like you to transfer another round of my seasonal pay to the Sil Master Silvius's count at the Bank of Necrom. This should temporarily elevate uh, my growing fear from a hired assassin. If you would also comply with this request, consider a lieu of future information. Going forward, I would like to start using codes when I start referring to my targets. That way, if I'm caught, I have a deniable possibility. Please use the following names in the future. Sparrow for the Master for Master Silvius. Bristleback for Master Phobes. Beetle for Master Tilius. Please let me know if I can expect a financial transfer to the Sparrow's account. If not, we have no need, we have no need for, to engage in business. Our efforts of infiltration has produced extra results. It'd be a shame that to lose such important source over a little extra gold. Please expedite the request transfer and send my reply at once. More of a stress. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Incredible. <laughs> Over here, hero. Got anything interesting for me? Sure. Bosey's report didn't do this place justice. This isn't a camp. It's a House Dres foothold in House Tilvani territory. Any chance you found anything that will help us find the spy in there? Nope. This report refers to Turkadem as a direct aid to a master. Well, that narrows down the list of suspects, and it also tells us how they exchange information with their contact. They're using the Kukuti nests to the north as a pickup spot. Did you find anything else? Uh, this letter indicates Strekadem was worried. They had to shift their blame to Master Chillis. Add all this to that jar of Kakuti musk you found in the servants' quarters, and I think we're getting close to catching our spy. <laughs> Using false names to identify the masters. Clever. And demonstrates a sense of humor. Hmm. Did you warn Master Silvius uh, about the gold in his bank account? Not quite yet. This could just be another diversion. Let's not jump to too many conclusions just yet. Where next? So it appears that an aide or servant leaves messages for House Drez at the Kukudi Nest to the north, using the musk to keep from being attacked. First, go to Talhulan and update Master Sulis. Then we'll check on those nests. Well, I'll get an update from Master Silas. The clues indicate that Tredesim is an aide to one of the masters, who also sleeps in the servant quarters. They use Kukuti Musk to approach the northern nests to exchange messages with House Drez. Update Master Sulis, then join me at the nests. Hmm. Can we go over what we know so far? Not a bad time to review the evidence, though I strongly advise that you not mention any of this to the mouths and masters at Telhulun. Where would you like to start? What do we know about Tredesim? Uh, the Drez call the spy Tredesim. Tredesim. servant, but more than that, a personal aid to one of the Talvani masters. We also know that Tredesim passes information to the camp house Drez established outside Aldezra. And how do they pass information? We deduce that Tredesim leaves their quarters late at night to drop information off at the northern Kaguti nests. They use musk to keep the beasts from attacking. The next day, Drez agents recover the information. Hmm. Uh, do we have anything that information that... Uh, do we know anything about the information Tredesim is passing along? Only speculation. It probably has something to do with that secret project the servant mentioned. Something that Masters Sulis, Foves, and Thuzi are working on. Beyond that, it could be anything. A lot of important business happens in Telhulun. Is there evidence of the Master's involvement? Hmm. Hard to say with confidence. Tredesim sent a letter requesting a transfer of gold into Master Sulis's bank account. We could interpret that as evidence of his involvement, but it 
could just be a diversion. Let's not draw the wrong conclusion. Oh, I'm caught up now. Good, because we still have a lot to do. Head back to Telhulan and update Master Sulis. Placate him, but don't give him any more information than necessary. We're still not sure if he's involved. Then Why not? meet me at those Kagudi nests to the north. All right. Ooh. I'm gonna have a friend, I guess. Off on an adventure. <laughs> Fate needs you, Proxy. Master Silas? Ah. You're assisting the Morag Tong agent, correct? As busy as I am, I can always spare a moment for the hired help. Hmm. You ever asked me to ask, uh, give you an update about the, our investigation. We're close to identifying the spy. Oh, that is good to hear. Even though the Assembly enacted the writ, I know that Naryu is under no obligation to keep us informed. I appreciate it. I know better than to ask for specific details. The Morag Tong... Prefers to work unhindered. Anything else? Can you tell me about who attends the Assembly of Masters meetings? The Masters send representatives to the Assembly. Our mouths. They have the authority to speak in our names. Some sessions require a Master or two to attend, as well as any aides and servants. Scribes take notes so every Master can stay informed. I heard you were working on a special project. You did, did you? Interesting. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm working on something with Master's foes and Thilsey. We've been meeting frequently until fairly recently. Then Foves stopped attending. He's worried about the spy. His aide delivers him notes after each meeting. Mm. Thank you for thank you for the explanation. A very informative update. Thank you. Now you should get back to it. We'll all feel safer and more secure once this spy has been dealt with. Permanently. Can you tell me anything about your secret project? Not especially. I suggest we change topics. Any guess about the spy's identity? To a Telvani master such as myself, everyone is a spy and a threat. It's something of our way of life. Hence the need for you and the Morag Tong assassin. A fresh set of eyes and a dagger to get the job done. I suggest you get back to it. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch your Fovis. Hello? Hireling, I hope you have a strong sense of discretion. Talking to Master Sulis like that may not be wise. I have concerns about him. Have you and the assassin made progress? We're close to identifying the spy, but other than that, I can't say. I totally understand. What some call paranoia, I call prudent caution. This spy could cause irreparable damage to the Assembly, if not to House Telvani itself. Tell me, what did you and Master Sulis talk about just now? Can you explain these uh, workings of the Assembly and how the Masters engage with special projects? Did he now? How easily he let slip confidential information to a stranger. I know others find me grating. But I've spent my life making House Telvani hey, stronger. This spy threatens our stability. I need you to find them. Eliminate this threat. Uh, Nero and I are work Nero and I are working on that. I don't like this feeling of the wolves at the door. Your confidence encourages me. Thank you for talking with me. Now I must go. I swear my aide Gito is avoiding me. Just between us, he's let his grooming lapse. His odor is quite unpleasant oh you don't say guto's smells hmm you seem rather suspicious of master Celius, hmm? i'm suspicious of everyone especially my peers and rivals you have to be in my position Sulis, though he's changed i don't like it how he's changed he has a new urgency about him always wants to talk about some new idea or another for example Sulis mentioned our secret project yes he insists that we meet in person, 
and with a spy and possible assassin roaming this tower? Ridiculous. Can you tell me more about this special project? What? No, of course not. What part of the word secret are you unfamiliar with? The secret no, part. I cannot discuss our project. Sula should never have mentioned it to begin with. Oh, you mentioned something about your aide? Hmm? Oh, Alam Gita. Yes, he's been my loyal assistant for a number of years. Maybe I've been working him too hard. Seems like he has no time to keep up his appearance and the smell. Perhaps I should get him a room outside the servants' quarters. Uh, I think that's a lead for us. And try to find the spy. <laughs> We're going to investigate that Kuguri nest now. Nope. Weathered. Thanks for the raid. Here's the other one. You bleed before I let you find our spy. Really? Is that about bleeding? Hmm? Hmm? Dress message. Aliam. Uh, Alam. The time has come. Uh, the time for the secret names is over. The Morag Tong will find you. If they haven't found you already. It's just a, I just hope this message finds you first. As soon as you read this, come to our camp to the south. Do not I hesitate. Don't make my eyes reminded people of the warm embers of a fire. I think fires are much prettier. Hey, Amber. Thank you. Um, as soon as you read this, come to our camp in the south. Do not hesitate. Don't make any arrangements. This is too late for anything other than running. You perform a great service to house dress and deserve to be rewarded. We we'll escort you off the peninsula and back to dress territory under your prote our protection. You receive a new identity uh, to keep you hidden. Uh, you no longer Here's have to be Al Grant, but you you'll at least be alive. Oh. Be him again, I guess. Watch me go. Mm -hmm. You have to break away. Stop that. I know where he's right. Thank you for the raid. Damn it, Bossy. Bossy. Damn it. You to be careful. Hate losing a good associate. A cover letter. For Drekum. Your information continues to pay dividends and our gratitude only grows. Your recent message about the permeation snare project greatly ex excited uh, House Mages. If Talstavani were to wield such an incredible weapon, it would tip the balance of favor too far into their favor. Your efforts to assure the peace in our land. As requested by Bisterback, we, uh, we forwarded the gold to Sparrow's account. If anyone comes snooping around, we should hopefully provide enough suspicion to draw attention away from you two. Please communicate to Bristleback that we appreciate his assistance. We look forward to a long and fruitful relationship. Um... Nope. Hey, I don't remember what the names were. Who's Bristleback again? I smell like a kagoody. This place smells like a kagoody. And you definitely smell like a kagoody. Let me see that letter you found. Here. Indicates Alam uh, Gubat is uh, Terekum. Master Foves' aide. Interesting. Once House Drez heard about the writ, they must have panicked. So now we got uh, go confront Alam? Not so fast, hero. Have we found everything here at the Kagudi nests? There might be more clues scattered around this Drez message relay. 
I found another letter. Oh, what's that on the letter? Are you sure that's just mud? Why don't you just read it to me from over there? Ilukev uh, dres uh, details about the weapon called the Permeation Snare. Ah, probably that secret project the servant mentioned. Foz is part of the project, so as his trusted aide, Yito gains access to the details, may have even taken the notes himself. What else? Well, someone named Bristleback aided Gel uh, Galot and forwarded the gold to someone named Sparrow's account. Bristleback, Sparrow, that letter, and the dress camp explained these code names. This means Master Phobes worked with Gito this whole time. They even tried to frame Master Sulis as the spy. Can't say I'm overly surprised. Oh, what's the next step? My next step is quite clear. I kill Gito. The writ covers Tradesim and just Tradesim. Anything you want to do beyond that is up to you, hero. Let's return to Telhulan. Hopefully Gito is there so I can wrap this up. <laughs> Are we going to raid? Hey! Off we go! Meow, meow, meow. Fate needs you, Proxy. Fate always needs me. We can wait. Zemzo, how are you doing? The Morag Tong agent has returned, and the tower is in an uproar. Zemzo does not like all this drama. Still, this one will stand his ground and report everything back to Master Thilzy as accurately as possible. You do so. Ovis? I see that you and the assassin have both returned. I assume that means she'll soon conclude her business and tell Hulin will be safe again. Well, safer, anyway. I look forward to hearing her report. Hmm, servants. Tell me, assassin. Have you dealt with our spy? Not yet, but I'm about to. <laughs> now you says she's ready to complete her writ of execution. I take great comfort that she revealed this to me before she finished her business. I mean, I know I'm not the spy, but it is good to know that she knows that too. Looks like we got to that letter before Gito. He never received his orders to slip away and make a break for the dress camp. Makes my life easier. What happens now? Now I complete my writ. I figured you'd want to witness the professional at work. After all your help, you've earned that right. Hmm, what about Master Foes? He was illegal to spy. The rules are quite explicit. Only the name of the writ is my target, and that's just Tradesim. Gito is the spy, and he's my target. Anything more is up to you. Do you want to tell Master Sulis about Master Phobes' plan to set him up? Yeah, I think I'll tell him about that. Show Master Sulis the evidence, if you like. Gito won't go anywhere without my notice. I'll wait here until you're done. Master Silvis. Was there something else, outsider? Yes, Master Sil well, Master Forbes tried to frame you as a spy, but the true spy was actually Alam Galt. Here's the proof. Hmm. Nice try, Forbes, but not good enough. I appreciate the effort, but he loses again. Just as he always does. Thank you for this. This evidence is all I need to bury him. Or worse, make him indebted to me. What are you going to do? What all good Telvanni masters do. Carefully consider my options, and then take the course that gets me more of influence, prestige, and power. Master Foes will need to be punished for dealing with House Dres, but... Beyond that, I need to think on it. Now that Sulis knows what Phobes was up to, the backstabbing and plotting will intensify. Yay! I that's life in House Tavani, though. Anyway. Fun! I'm glad Fosi decided to involve you in all this, hero. 
Oh, before we go, Fulci did promise me something for bringing you that letter. An excellent point. Never let it be said that Nario Virian reneges on a promise. After this, I need a long, hot bath. Mm. That's not an invitation, hero. Aww. Maybe next time. Mm. Ah, but I have this one other thing to deal with first. Shadowhood. Assassin cast off head covering. Never prefers uh, to working with her head with her hair blowing free. Folks, I understand you have a spy in your employ. So now you know, Sulis. Well, good for you. That and a few coins will get you a ride on the Silt Strider. No use denying it. Assassin, complete your writ. Then this is over. Tredethem. No! Master Folds made me! I didn't have a choice! Right in the back of the head. Oops. Well, looks like you certainly dug deeper than I expected. If you think this changes anything, you're sadly mistaken. I'm still a Telvanni master. This is a bump in the road, nothing more. And you suggest you watch behind you. I have a long memory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give us? I can't thank you enough. Having something to hold over Foves' head presents unlimited opportunities. Now I just need to figure out how best to use them. Does this ruin your secret project? While I wish we hadn't had any information passed to House Dress, we caught the spy and Foves is in my debt. So things couldn't have gone much better for me. I'll remove him from the project though, which frankly will be an improvement. Hmm, and Nehru? With that, my work is done. We did good, hero. You know, I sometimes visit the tavern in Necrom. Stop by if you're in the area. It would be nice to see you in less professional conditions. So, what's next for Nehru Varian? Sharpening my blades. You never know how soon I'll need to draw them again. Then a trip to Necrom, I think. I should pay my respects at the Necropolis while I'm in the area. I put a lot of ancestors in those catacombs. Mm -hmm. With that, my work is next. for the assembly. Master Sulis rises in power, and Master Foves falls a few steps back. At least for the time being. It's like a game to the Tavani Masters. As for me, I think I'll head to Necrom and find a spot in a crowded tavern. I need a drink. Oof. Okay there, you're gonna have to clean that up. Someone's gonna have to clean that up. Izemo. What is old Isra coming to? Murder right at the entrance to the assembly of masters? I'm sure Master Thilzi will be shocked when she receives this report. Oof. Well. All done by Ritz. Ah, yeah, oh, there we go. Mourner Solus in. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look. We got Asher up here. And Nehru. Hi. Is it Necrom a lot, Asher? You seem the sentimental type. Not since my first writ. The spirits of my victims fill the necropolis, and they can be quite nasty. You consider the necropolis to be a trophy case? That's rather unprofessional of you. You're just upset that you didn't think of it first. Hi. You know, I almost didn't show up. Seeing you again brought back so many memories. The idea of returning to Balmora and avoiding this talk certainly crossed my mind. I can't keep running from this, though. We need to talk about Vea. Well, how much do you how much do you know about what happened in Somerset? Rosamdar gave me his version of the story. I'm fairly certain he didn't ride into a Daedric realm on the back of a griffin, though, did he? Regardless, I know what transpired. I can't help but think Vea's actions were because of my failures. Well, you lied to me about Vea's death in Balmora. Oh, I lied to a lot of people. Yes, I remember it was you who told me to put the blade to her throat. 
It was clear that your mind was made up. You were right, though. I should have put an end to her suffering. Took me a while to realize that. Well, what changed your mind? Vea wrote me when she arrived in Somerset. Detailed the pain she suffered. The pain she planned to inflict on others. That sweet young woman I once knew died that day in Balmora. You saw what I couldn't or wouldn't see. Vea chose her own path. And the path I should have ended when I had the chance. Instead, I did what I always do. I focused on my work. The here and now. It's too dangerous to ever get distracted. That's what I told myself anyway. And you got pulled in again. No, well, I did what I had to do in order to save Somerset. And from what I hear, it cost a great deal of lives. But you did what I couldn't. As always, you were the hero, hero. I only say this once, so don't get used to it. I'm sorry. Well, what now? Now I need a drink and to gather my thoughts. Get my next job and get out of this damn peninsula. Maybe the next time we run into each other, we can put this behind us and have a more pleasant encounter. Just don't turn up on one of my writs, hero. I don't plan to. Asher is too drunk to talk. 